Hi Leo. Welcome to mid-February to mid-March. So, on the 18th the sun will move from Aquarius into Pisces. First two cards out are the Queen of Wands and the Gemini card, the Lovers. Queen of Wands and the Gemini card. Okay, so the sun will be there until the 18th, but Mars moves there tomorrow on February 13th. And Venus moves there on the 16th. So tomorrow, Mars enters Aquarius. On the 16th, Venus enters Aquarius. The sun is already there. So for two days, yeah, the better part of two days, you have Mars, Venus, and the sun all in Leo rising, your seventh house. That's why that lover's card is there. And Leo sun, that's the house across from you. That's the sign across from you. So what does that mean, queen of wands and the lovers? Desire is important again. Having wants is important again. I think for most of you, this is like trying to make sense of the shadows of the past when it comes to romance. But there is a definite fire being lit there. You can, yeah, you can, five of cups, some things that have been rolling around in your mind that you beat yourself up over where your stubbornness actually works against you and you can't let go of a certain thought or a certain uh, blame, shame spiral that you might be in. It's very easy at this time to let it go and kind of negotiate your own release from your own conscious conscience. Um, the Queen of Wands, you know, right out front we have like we're feeling very strong. Leo is in their element. Leo is very much entertained and happy and wanting to sort things out. The lover's card, okay, so most of this energy is being directed, this, this strength, this need to sort things out, it's all being directed at your love area. Now, Five of Cups says there are certain things that have happened in terms of love and relationships that are, you know, shadows that haunt you. It's your past. And in a lot of ways, you wish these things could be resolved. In some cases, you can't see a way to resolve them because, like, the person's not even around or it was a really long time ago and who cares anymore. But this is a different sort of resolution. You're able to negotiate and make peace with the past accepting some blame, relegating blame to others where it needs to be that perhaps you've been holding unfairly. Mainly it's unhurried, not at all intimidating conversations with a past that up until now may have seemed too heavy to engage with. Through a series of situations, perhaps through a Gemini in your life that's going through their own shit, you have had some wounds open back up. But it's good because they weren't sutured properly and they were infected. So the Six of Cups and the Two of Swords. Again, wherever in your personal life, in your romantic life, where it just felt like things got ugly and it was unnecessary. In those places, a new conversation can open up where no conversation was possible before. And do not discount the fact that this is a private conversation between you and you this is the judgment card of just telling yourself the truth it, this does not have to include another person this does not this is not some toxic you know um carte blanche that you can take now and you say okay i can go talk to this person and i can be as toxic as i want because i want to get this stuff out of my system no this is about regaining connection and regaining harmony but mainly with yourself because there are real guilts here things that you are holding and carrying that you feel very strongly are your fault and it's interesting because you have to lie to yourself to continue to carry this guilt you can't just carry it because it, it's you know you know it's not yours and so this moment of the judgment card like you know it's <clears throat> excuse me 
it's too obvious now during these transits through Aquarius and this ongoing transit that will occur for the next 20 years with Pluto being there there's so little room left to be able to lie to yourself even if the lie is meant to make you kick yourself or some strange attempt at humility I'm not sure but that thing that you do where you unfairly take on too much in a situation and then when you can't carry it that turns into shame and guilt I don't think that Aquarius is going to allow that I think that Aquarius wants you to be smarter than that so this can manifest in many ways it can manifest as you being in a long-term relationship and actually wanting to try again it can manifest as you forgiving yourself for a relationship a long time ago that somehow, um, you know, this Aries energy that somehow just came up and got in your face again and made you feel ashamed. Mars is there in Aquarius. It wants you to sort these things out that make you feel caged from the past and you're able to do so because you're able to talk yourself out of the guilt and perhaps wake up to the fact that you would like to be in a relationship that you would like to try something new that you aren't genuinely aren't afraid of the past you know or that that past is this looming thing that catches up on you because only you know how much of that past was actually your fault this sort of thing is what's going on and the judgment card, again, is there to be like, no, the truth is this, even if it drudged something up from your past, instead of avoiding it, now you've been fa forced to face it and you will find harmony in your relationship with the idea of that relationship. <laughs> like, not even the relationship. That's what I'm saying. This does not have to involve other people. This is about your perception of said events and your role in them which is where most of your destructive behavior comes from because I think you're smart enough to not let much in. But when you decide you're the culprit or the villain in your own mind, that's when things get really tricky. So <clears throat> this isn't a time of jealousness, jealousy or possessiveness, sorry. It's not... It lacks the hallmark characteristics of what you're like when you want to get into a new relationship you're not thinking the same way which is why if you meet somebody right now I think it's really cool if you go for it because something that starts very casually now can turn into a really serious relationship inshallah something that you want something that makes you very very happy uh, because you've let yourself out of this guilt jail okay let's move along so when i say go out and flirt leo you are the most leo you can be right now go out and flirt go out and talk to people just go outside if nothing else it will happen quick someone something will show up and say hey would you like to have some fun in life would you would you like to hang out with me? Would you like to, I think you're great. And you're like, wait, what? And at the same time, let's talk career a little bit. After the fifth, if you've noticed, things just got easier. This is the ace of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Things get e easier, clients are easier, <clears throat> negotiations are easier. It's interesting because a lot of what is coming your way right now is because of a positive reputation. However, because you understand particularly at this moment how important relationships are, let's also not forget that in these moments where places are open to you, doors are open to you because of your reputation, those are also moments where your reputation is redefined. You either live up to your reputation, yep, your reputation or you don't I have a terrible headache if you're wondering why I'm slurring my words here and there I have a terrible headache and I've had it for like two days 
and I can't seem to get rid of it. But it's okay. All right. So, the sun is in Aquarius until the 18th, right? Part of the sun being there with Mercury, Venus, Mars is financially everyone rallies around you and wants to cooperate. Your reputation has brought enough people to the table where they trust you, they want to help you, they want to work together as a team, and they don't feel like you'll be taking away from them by being a team member. Now, if you think back a few years, this is actually a big change and it's worth celebrating. People don't see you, <clears throat> excuse me, as somebody who is going to take their shine, as somebody who's going to make them look bad or make them look like they did less. People want to cooperate with you. They want to be on your team. They understand that it's the winning team. They understand that you have the reputation you have because you put your work central and it means a lot to you and it means more to you than your ego does. So... It's actually really, really smart for people to want to pair up with you right now and cooperate with you, whether it's romantic or in terms of finances. They can see the grounding, I think, that these Aquarian transits are having on you. And also, it's just a more jovial time in life for you. I know it sounds silly, but we're coming into a brighter, lighter, warmer period. These things affect you greatly much more than they affect most signs. Um, you have this constant deep shift that happens 12 times a year where your ruling heavenly body changes so drastically month to month. And now we're starting to inch back toward where you are exalted, where you feel the warmest, the most comfortable, the most at home and cozy. And so you're you know, your energy, your spirit is already starting to kind of beam out and show that everywhere. You feel brighter, you feel lighter, you feel more optimistic. And this energy is also <clears throat> having this gravitational pull on everyone around you. You've become this like heavy center of gravity within your workspace, within your group, within your study group, within your family, within your relationships you feel the weight being placed on you in so many ways and you know that could be because you're the only one who sees what's wrong in the family it could be because you're the only one who wants to stop all the uh gossip in the friend group it could be because you're the one who can stand up to the boss or the client at work uh in a way that's diplomatic and no one else can kind of charm them into being yelled at and being okay with it there are a lot of different ways where the people who trust you and who haven't necessarily been the best to you up until now change their tune they come around they want to defer to you they want to be on your team so in some ways it's confusing because a lot of these people you know they really did get you out of your calm they really did fuck with your peace of mind so it's ironic and it's weird for them to come back around now but I don't think, don't take this the wrong way, but I think a lot of people discounted you. I think it's easy to make judgments about Leos. I think it's easy to write Leos off uh, when you don't really know what they're about. But anyone who's ever met a determined Leo with a chip on their shoulder knows that there is quite a lot of strength that can be marshaled from the ego if done properly, right? So this is one of those appropriate times where you can put your healthy fostered ego, you know, front and center and let it do the work of attracting all the energy, all the people, all the money that you need because it's giving off such a diplomatic, easy, you know hands-off vibe and that's really the crux of it 
if you can get take your paws off everything right now, whether it's a relationship, a work situation, a friendship that's souring, it doesn't matter what it is. If you can release yourself from needing to control it, if you can... How do I put it? If the point is to regain connection and harmony, then the fixed habits that you have to remain in control will not work and they will only hinder because all the energy of the month is leading towards you being very compassionate, very kind, very open to compromise. So that feeling that you want, you know, where you have your hands all over something and you can say, this is mine, this is what I do. The easiest way to get there is to take your hands off it. And sure, it's counterintuitive, but I think you know exactly what I mean. I think people are expecting, along with you living up to your reputation, inshallah, which will be wonderful, people are also expecting the self-centered, you know, explosive kind of indiscriminate, you know, viciousness that Leos can possess. So they're hyping you on one side because they're like, oh, you live up to your reputation. You're such a hard worker or you're so smart or you're so beautiful or you're so charming or whatever they're going to say. And on the other side, while they're reaffirming this side of your reputation, they're also kind of silently reaffirming the fact that they know that you're going to fuck up and like cause a scene, do something else, like make it about you, some shit, and you're not. And you're not going to do that. And that, I think, is the kind of clinch-like moment that brings us into April, into March, and then leads to this smooth April to your birthday road. In March, all the people who tried to put rocks in your path and tried to make you slip and tried to make the worst parts of you come out when it doesn't happen, they're just rendered powerless. They don't know what to do. And you can kind of write them off at that point. But right now, they do hold a little bit of power in that they can tempt you into doing and saying the wrong thing and exploiting your weaknesses. So the things you do or say that you know that you don't want to do or say, it's very likely that someone around you will try to pull that out of you. And they're going to do so by being like, I'm the one telling the truth. I'm in the right. I'm in, which is just which is exactly what one needs to say to you to make you blow up. So when they say that, instead of being like, oh my God, I can't believe you're saying you're right. I can't believe you would bring morality into this. I can't believe you would try to play the victim. I can't believe you would try to play the good guy. None of that is necessary. Anyone in your life right now trying to spark any jealousy in you, any possessiveness in you, any anger in you, wants people to see the wrong side of you, and they want people to make bad judgment calls about your person. That's the real sabotage. That's the real issue. So... Whoever you want to reconnect with, regain harmony with, whatever aspects of your life you want to reconnect with so you can stop blaming yourself, stop carrying all the weight by yourself, whatever issues that have happened in the past that you want to forgive yourself for, do not be derailed by somebody who wants to pull you into really ugly energy. Your energy is very pretty. It's very beautiful. You do not need like some ugly weird energy around you as soon as you start to feel that ugliness that's not who you are anymore you don't do things like that you don't say things like that you don't feel like that that's just what it is and honestly whether they're a romantic partner or a friend or even a family member if there is no amicability there there's nothing, right? So the video will be called Amica. Amica, amicability from the Latin Amica, which is friend, which is where we get Amiga in, in Spanish, right? There has to be amicability. There has to be a friendliness between people in your life. 
you're sick of having to deal with certain really sour people, really negative people, people who have nothing going on from them, catastrophic thinking, everything is always falling apart. Oh my God, I can't believe this happened. What are we going to do now? You're, you need amicability. You need friendship vibes. You need friendly. You need happy. You need optimistic. Because you have figured out that regardless of what is going on, if you do not find a way to keep yourself happy, none of it matters. And it doesn't. It really doesn't. If you cannot find a way through what will be an interminable set of ups and downs, they will never stop. If you can't find a way in the midst of that to maintain your glow and your sunshine, you're putting the wrong things first. With you, The way you feel inside has to be first because it is the only thing that can change your reflection on the outside. It's when your heart is clear and you talk to God that things work. It's when your heart is clear and you talk to your friends, it works. It's when your heart is clear and you talk to someone you're in love with that it works. My whole issue with this like Shira 7 thing has never been like, oh, she wants you to go out there and get money. I don't care if you get money. That's cool, get money. My issue is I don't even kiss that person. I don't even like looking at that person. I don't need to look at that person. I just need their money. No. I mean, isn't it also really limiting to think that the only people who would want to provide for you are people who you don't like? No. (laughs) I think it's very possible to have everything that you want in life and still be in love with someone and them want to do those things for you because they're in love with you, not because you're gaming them. So, there we are. Let's talk more about career. We have a lot to talk about after the sun moves out of Aquarius from the 18th to mid-March. We're going to talk about career, money, and mental and physical health. And then we're going to do a little metaphysical advice moment. Because you guys said you like that in the cancer reading. So let's do it. I love you. If you would like to watch the extended, what we were just talking about, the links are below. And if you would like a recorded personal reading, the links are below as well. I'll see you in the extended.